All right, five more things that I think every conductor should have, especially new conductors. If you're looking to become a conductor or looking to work in the rail industry, I would invite you to subscribe to the channel. We are growing very quickly. Uh, Norfolk Southern and CSX being, all of them have cut their training down because they're trying to hire like crazy because they shot themselves in the foot in 2019, 2020. So that's what this channel is dedicated to. It's dedicated to getting you ready to being thrown out there to the wolves because it's going to happen. So the first thing that I think you really need is you're going to need some type of way to charge your phone, charge your headphones, whatever electronics you may have, your iPad or whatever. Um, the reason being is you don't know how long you're going to be out there in that train. Some trains don't have plugs. A lot of them don't, especially if you're going to work for NS. So you need to have some type of way to charge your phone, your headphones, your tablet or whatever while you're sitting on the train just killing time. This particular charger block that I have, uh, it would charge my phone like four or five times before it was dead. All right guys, so the second one, the second one is something that a, a subscriber actually commented not too long ago and he kind of read my mind. Now I didn't get into this, um, I didn't think like this until later before I quit and I was trying to really save money. So if you're trying to save money, you're trying not to eat out and, and pay 20 to $30 each trip eating, uh, bring your own food of course. But you know, the problem is, is you can't heat it up uh, you know, you can't heat it up. There's nowhere to heat it up. You can run down to the cafeteria. A lot of the hotels don't even have microwaves in them. Uh, or you may get stuck on an on a engine. You know, who knows? And like I said, some engines have plugs. So if you're fortunate enough to work for BNSF or something like that that has plugs, or even a hot plate on your else engine sometimes, that's good. But if you don't, you resort to this. And that is going to be the Hot Logic, uh, the Mini. You use the portable. And all it is is just a, it's a hot plate. It warms up your food for you. So the third thing I think you should possibly get into or get is also a neck pillow. Neck pillow, throw it in your bag. If you get stuck somewhere, grab that joker out and put it around your neck and just lean back in the seat. And whenever you take a nap, you'll be good to go. Um, hey look, the price has even dropped. So links down below if you want any of this stuff. There's no need for me to explain this. Get your neck pillow, it'll save your neck in the long run. All right, so the fourth one is probably one of, it's gonna be the most expensive thing that I mentioned. It's gonna be a Leatherman tool. Um, and you're probably saying, Joey, why in the heck do we need a Leatherman tool? The number one reason is gaskets. Um, you need to start carrying gaskets on you, on your belt, on your... Um, uh, I used to carry them on my little, whatever you call this thing. I used to take the gaskets and I would wrap them in here. And they would, just, you know, they would stay on my keys the whole time. Um, now... In order to get them out, if you don't have a Leatherman tool, you have got to force them with your fingers or your thumbs to try and get them broke free. I'm going to tell you something, it hurts. Um, if you have a Leatherman tool, pop out the knife, stick it in between the gasket and the glad hand, pop it out, put it on your keychain, and keep walking. Now, when you go to find the bad gasket, whenever you may, you may, you may run across a car that has a bad gasket and you're losing air and you got to replace it. If you have this tool, I'm telling you, it will save you a lot of time. Um, I mean... Not to mention the other stuff that's used for it. And this, just because it's $109, there's cheap ones on here. So you have some that are $69, uh, 69 $49. As long as it has some type of knife, the $49 one. This one will work great. There's some type of tool to help you make your life easier if you get into a bind. Um, and they're, I mean, it's small, compact, put it on your hip, put it in your bag. Last thing I'm gonna mention is a stapler. A small stapler, like this. I still got mine. Um, the reason being is most of the time the staplers that you use that's in y'all's washrooms or in y'all's whatever y'all want to call it where you go and do your paperwork the staplers are trash you can't ever find them they don't ever have staples this thing's eight bucks buy some freaking buy one of these and buy some staples and keep it in your uh, in my metal binder that I have to keep it in there you can staple your stuff organize all the stuff how you want to you don't have to depend on the company to provide a good stapler because it's amazing they talk about record profits but they can't buy enough staplers to keep them down there in the washrooms that actually work. All right guys, that's all I got for you. These are five things I think that you would benefit by getting, like I said, it doesn't have to be the most expensive thing. It can be a cheaper smart charging block, it can be a cheaper multi-tool, uh, Leatherman tool, um, cheaper neck pillow. Just get what you can afford, but this stuff will help you a lot. Till then, I'll see you guys in a couple days with a new video. Y'all be safe, good luck at school, good luck training, be safe, keep your head on a swivel, listen to your conductor, and you'll be all right. I'll see you on the next video.